everyone see everyone that in here the monkey was just here a second ago but anyway this is for my bike it's a trailer but it's very special but look at the way it came this is exactly the way it came so hopefully it's all there and not beat up and lost stuff I hear stuff rattling around that's unusual because that's UPS so yeah it's a trailer for my bike I had to go get look if you guys got a bike with uh, if your threads are real short here and I don't know what happened to my nut here it is okay like this nut goes up here and tightens up and the the uh, the hitch for your trailer bolts on here right so if you don't have enough threads get you one of these they're $21 I know they're pricey but get you one of these um, this thread that you'll need right here to bolt onto your axle on this particular bike and uh, a lot of electric bikes okay it's a uh, 12 by 1.25 millimeter uh, it's a 12 millimeter size hole and the 1.25 it's a fine thread a real fine thread that's what the 1.25 is the thread and then this here and then your and, and then your um, your hitch will bolt here okay but I'll show you that here in a little bit once we get to that first we gotta get this down here set it down here and move this over and then uh, yeah I got so much stuff to do but anyway let me get this moved I'll get you on the tripod and we'll um, that's her mom's medical stuff there it sends stuff to the office a couple times like her blood pressure was low they called immediately 24 hour um, surveillance so yeah they called immediately and made sure she was okay but yeah so anyway uh yeah let's get started on this thing okay guys there was one piece of tape on this side i cut it but i haven't opened it yet I can make a flotation device. Think it'll hold me? Nah, me either. But it's cool. Okay. Got some hardware here. And a paper. Got a video if you want to watch it. You scan that, you can watch a YouTube video on it. bike trailer it shouldn't be that difficult besides I've watched a bunch of videos on this already now this is the piece that I was talking about if you put this on and then you're not you might not have enough threads I wanted to be safe and then sorry so and this is a strap just kind of like a safety chain when you're pulling the trailer I don't I don't like how long they put these out here because it could do that stuff I don't know I may shorten that up or come up with my own thing later but anyway there's the hitch look mom this is a giant poppy mm, I can't pop them They're no pop. no you can't pop them but this might be good stuff to keep for for stuff to ship if you need to yeah. ship it of course the tires will need air here's the tires they are 18 inch this is an upgraded the originals had uh, 16 inch uh, these are 18 inch by 2.125 which is 57 by 355 so and they, he can't inflate these to 36 pounds, so that's cool. Move these out of the way. 
kind of like a knobby sort of but it's for like off-road or on-road so there's that now I paid up for this I'll tell you how much you gave for it in a little while and I don't want to talk about it right now because it'll depress me after paying $21 for a freaking nut and bowl there's another one monk here's another one Yeah, we can use these as beating sticks. Watch. And it don't hurt. Alright. You can lay it down on the boat in your solo boat. When I solo boat? Yeah, and then put your hat on top. Okay. You don't want to see this right now. Oh. I don't know. I may show you. I probably will. But, okay. Put this out. Put these out. These out. Okay, now what I'm not seeing is the freaking axles probably fell out of the damn box. Well, Hopefully, a hole what? A hole in that box. Well, it wouldn't even close all the way. No. <laughs> So I'm not seeing the axles. They might be in there. Let me check and see if I can find them. And I'll be back with you. Hang tight. Okay, guys. They did. It did come with the axles there in that little box we took out. And the video. Check this out. So, you know this video. God dang it. So let's go to my QR scanner. We're going to scan this. We scanned it. Right? Now we're going to open it. Check it out. And then, so I shared it. I sent it to myself to, in an email. I clicked on the link. It went to YouTube. And it just kept scrolling changing the page changing the page so finally I just uh, highlighted like the last half of where it says YouTube blah 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 copied it and put it in search and it came up it was already a video I watched before but anyway so be aware of that I mean you know give us something to work with because I tell you what I pay for this, 400 freaking dollars, you know. So, now the guy will tell you, you know, you put your axle in here. Now, I'd, I'd like to have a washer there, but I can't have it, and I'll show you why. And he, he called these washers gaskets. He said, put one or two on there. Well, I'm going to put one because I already tried it on there, and then you put your spacer on here. Now... I'm going to bring you over here. I'll do this side. It's got a little bit more light. Okay. Let me zoom in a little bit. On the axle there. Well, I'll show you here in a minute. Okay. So, well, let's try. This side might be different. I don't know. Okay. Ish. This barely fits one. Might not even work. Comes with these pins. Okay, it did fit. But if I use two of them, it's not going to work. Okay, so that's one. I'll show you how it goes. So you stick your axle through your wheel. You put a washer or two, then you put your spacer on, then you put this pin in through here, and that's what holds the axle and everything on. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. All right, now we're going to put the uh, trailer tongue on. 
Just got these things here. Anyway. You put one in there, clip it, put the other one in here. Maybe. Jesus. Put that in there. Then we have to put a clamp on here to keep this thing from swaying. And the clamp is right here. couple wing nuts. I think if they would change the design here a little bit better or something, you wouldn't need this clamp. But the uh, the first ones that came out, this is the newest one. I think it's been out for a month. Anyway, this is the newest one. Um, they didn't give you the clamp. You had to go buy the clamp. All right. Now I'm going to get a pair of pliers and really snug that down. Because I don't want my trailers coming off. You know what I'm saying? So I want to show you something here. They give you, you know, these junk things. Now this one fits here, and I like everything tight. Okay, so I've already tightened it some. All right, there's that. Now this one, I don't know if you can see how loose that is, right? Now if you go to tighten this one, it doesn't, this doesn't fit that. So let me go get an Allen wrench. I just wanted to show you that. I'm going to tighten that up and then we'll move on. Alright, let's put the hitch on here. There's the hitch on. Now let's take it outside and hook it up. And I'm gonna put some air in tires and then we'll, we'll see how it pulls. <laughs> uh, I didn't think that through. Oh well. This... <laughs> All right, there we go. <sighs> right on, okay, now. That's about 10 minutes maybe putting that thing together. If I, if I wasn't filming, pff, five minutes. But it's made to come apart, you know, so you can haul it and stuff. So, all right, let's get it hooked up to the bike. And see how it pulls. All right, guys, so this is pretty easy. Goes in there like that. Put your pin in. Make sure it's locked in. This is your safety chain. Well, safety strap. It's not a chain. Man, I where to put that. I really don't want to put it there because I don't want to mess with my brakes. All right, anyway. Some of that, yours, yours might be a little different, but you get the idea. All right, I gotta get some air, and we're gonna pull with it and see how it does. All right, guys, come up here a little closer because the wind. I'm gonna 
Take this for a ride. Monkey's just going to film me. And uh, I'll let you know how it did. But she can film me going up and down past here a couple times. And then I'll show you about the trailer. I'm sure you guys can probably guess what the trailer does. But it's pretty cool. So, and of course, turn the camera on. All right. That's pretty fast, I think. Sorry, I'm trying to walk and do this. Well, I'll have to see how he likes that. Oops, let me move. There he is. Cool. Hey, it pulls nice. It rattles a little bit. I don't like that. I hate that. I hate a rattle. I hate squeaking brakes. Mm -hmm. um, pulls fine. 37 and a half down through here, so... Was it going like this? No. No? All right, good. Mm -mm. Okay, well now we're going to get you on the tripod, and I'm sure Monkey wants to be here for this momentous occasion. Yes! Okay. <laughs> Let's see what the trailer does. Yay! All right, now the cool part. You ready, Monk? It's got a pad in it. Has to lay down flat. Yeah, I know. Should just went out.
damn tight right there. Hang on a second, guys. That's what you pay $400 for, a fucking headache. Okay, we got it down. I thought it was going to bust. Okay, so we got our stakes here. They go through here. And this is the upgraded version. Now I'll bet the other one was a piece of shit, too. Get the other one. Monkey's chasing a bag. I'm the bag lady. She's the bag lady, she said, so. Ah. Did you get it? Yeah. Monkey got it. Oh, a bag lady. Right now, there's just a couple little pockets down here. Essentially, now it's just a tent, really. All right, now, we've got these little snaps here. What? Nothing. Hmm, what? Well, you look at this end and that end and they both go down. Exactly, that's what I was trying to tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, they're not, it's not straight. It's kind of like that. You know, I mean, all these straps do is hold these. Well, I can't hold there. Then you take the strap. And you put it in there like that, then you cinch it up like that. That just keeps the legs from folding in. All right, let's unzip it up. I mean, unzip it up. Unzip it up. Dual zippers. There's our screen. It opens on all four sides. Which is good for down here in Florida. There's only what? Two or three videos on this thing? Yeah. Well, there's only one we seen on this. It was nine months ago. It was with the older one. They had the rods coming up this way. Right. And uh, the other couple are the guy that makes them, apparently. Yeah. I'm going to say right now, it's not $400 quality. Now we paid for this with our own money, guys. Monkey bought it for me. They didn't send it to me. No. Which is probably a good thing because they wouldn't like my review. Mm -hmm. I'm disappointed because, you know, the old one and even the new one, you know, they, they made it look a lot easier than what it is. That's because they pick and choose what they want to show. Yeah, and that's not right. And see, we show everything because we want people to know the truth. 
I mean, it's not hard. It's not, sugar it's not hard it. to put together. It's not hard at all. But the point is, is why is it bowed up? You know, why, why, why are these not straight? Straight yeah, across. They should be. You can see inside there, it's bowed up. So either way, your head is going to be going downhill. Yeah, which is not good. Well, that can cause well, headaches and all kinds of stuff. Right. Of course not. The, the whole point is, it's four hundred dollars. And look. Mm -hmm. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Look how high it is in the center and how low it's going downhill. It's going downhill. You know? Why? Is it bent somewhere? I don't know, hon. I doubt if it's bent somewhere. It would have to be the whole... It'd have to be both ends. It does have a rain fly with a little porch. That's what these poles are for. Mm -hmm. But and that was part of the upgrade with the little porch. Yeah. Yeah. Which I liked. I thought it was cute. Now I'm gonna sit in here. Oh, well, lay in here. Plenty of room. My head's going downhill. I'm laying like this. Right. I mean, if I had a pillow, it would put me straight. It doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll watch a video again, but something is not right here. Mm -hmm. I mean, that should, you know, it should not be like that. Let me do some checking, guys. I may have to get a hold of this company. Company, I think it's just one guy. Find out what the hell's going on. It's supposed to have reflectors. Didn't get the reflectors, but you guys saw the box. They could have fell out. Yeah, they could have. Mm -hmm. It's cute. There's plenty of room in there. You know, for one person. Mm -hmm. It does have a hook to hang a light. That's good. It does have a pocket in there. But I don't understand why the ends are going downhill like that. Right. Especially the head end. You know? Mm -hmm. That doesn't make sense. If I put it on a bike, it'd be like that. It doesn't make sense. It's like wiping before you poop. It don't make sense. Who's going to lay like that? I would need 17 pillows over there just to get my head straight. You know? Mm-hmm. Look at it, look at it. I mean, you can see it in camera. Mm -hmm. It's an arch. You can't sleep on something like that. That would hurt your back. You'd be waking up to back pains and everything. I'm not sure what's going on. Let me do some research on this because this is ridiculous. $400? We've never, we don't have $400 in three brand new tents. No. That we bought since we've been together. Mm. That's crazy. All right, let me, let me do some research. Okay, guys, so here's the deal. I watched the video again, and when he got to that section where we was having trouble to get this part to go down, there was a cut. He started to flip it up, and it cut, and it was down. I'll show you that section right now. Now we are going to open the tent. Open the leg. Then you are able to fold down the tent. And it's supposed to have reflectors. It didn't, I didn't get any reflectors. But look, this is with a pillow in it. And I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's still going downhill. It's really high in the center and starts going downhill here, right there. Let me let me show you something here. Maybe. Um, let me get something. I'll show you. All right. Let's move this pillow. There's the center part, right? Okay. Now watch when I get to here. You see that? <clears throat> watch this. That's how far downhill 
it's going. It shouldn't, I mean, essentially, what this frame is, is a damn cot. That's all, it's a cot with wheels on it. I've never had a cot bend down on both ends like that. So, I sent the seller a message. I told him I want, I want the reflectors I seen in the video, and I want to send some money back. Because I look at it this way. You know, he needs to knock 100 bucks off anyway, because you know what? It's better to make 300 than no 100. So, whatever this guy wants to decide he wants to do, and I'm not paying if he wants it back, I'm not paying to ship this back. He can pay for that. But I mean, if you look down here, I don't know if the camera's picking up, look, that is going downhill. This is going downhill. You know what? Let me get a tape measure. Also took pictures and showed him pictures. Let me grab a tape measure. And let's measure the ends opposed to the center. Okay, from the ground to that, let me get my glasses on so I don't make a mistake here. Now, I sent this guy a message before I'm leaving any, you know, any, uh, you know, when they want to know how it is. That's 13 inches, right? You guys see that? That is 13, that is 13 inches to the top of that, to the ground, thereabouts. Now, shouldn't this be 13 inches? Well, let's see. Eight inches. Eight freaking inches. That's five inches down. Now let's do the front. We know the center's 13. Let's do the front. Eight inches. So it's sagging five inches at the ends. Five freaking inches. So I'm going to say don't waste your fucking money on this. Sorry about my French, but you know, when I buy something like this, Monkey bought it for me. It's part of my Father's Day, okay? Um, four hundred dollars for I mean a cot that ain't even no good I mean what do you guys think I'm giving it a two thumbs down and a, a two star and it's getting two stars because I like the idea and it came early it was supposed to be here Thursday today's Monday it came early uh, I do like that it does have a rain fly with a little porch and it does have vents in the rain fly But it's missing stuff that I seen him have in the video And when he went to put this down well you saw the clip you know why was there a cut there and I asked him about that Let's see what he says about that. I said is it something you didn't want us to see you know, you're trying to sell something. Let's be honest here. That's not $400. Well, 422 with tax. It was free shipping. But it was $399 plus tax. $422. And I'm going to need... Well, you saw that. I need five inches of pillow just to lay straight. <laughs> just for my head to be straight. I need five inches of pillow just for my head to be straight. You serious? Are you kidding me right now? Man. So, all right, guys. That's going to do it for this video. I'm not going to put the rain fly on. Uh, I got something else coming up that I want to do this with. I want to uh, do an overnighter with this and something else. So, but I'll let you know then what happened with this deal. You know? I mean, if I got to send it back, I got to box all that crap back up, you know. I mean, it's ridiculous. There's four washers. They fit nothing on here. There's two nuts. They fit nothing on here. I That one, that one screw, like I said, that screw there, the Allen wrench fit, it didn't fit that one, and this one needed to be tightened. It would have fell off. You know, you're going to send tools, send everything you need, you know, send everything someone's going to need. I, I damn sure wouldn't put this on the market. And if I did, it sure as a hell wouldn't be 400 freaking dollars. There's not, there's not $400 worth of stuff here. It's a cot with two tires 
And and if that was a cot, would you lay on that? Let's let's pretend the tent part's not here. And that's a cot. That's that's because that ribs there. That's why that's holding it. But look. Five inches. Would you lay on a cot that was five inches down in the front, five inches down in the back? Or vice versa. Man, I'm telling you. Nobody takes pride in any damn thing they do or build anymore. And then they claim it to be the best. That's totally ridiculous. I'm not very happy. And if he don't want to make it right, and give me some kind of discount and put and send me the reflectors that he showed in his video. Here, in fact, I'll show you that unless he took the video down. But before I ordered this, I seen it. I seen that video where he was showing how the reflectors go on. Okay, so if I can find that, if he didn't delete it, I'm going to, uh, I'll put that in right now. We are also going to assemble the rear side reflector and uh, the pulling bar is on the front and you assemble it over here this section first you unscrew the screw on the <laughs> But anyway, let me see. I think I got something here from him. No, it's what I, hang on a second guys, let me check this. Okay, so he replied back. Now, I, got, I gotta tell you, this guy has got five star reviews. Five stars, he's five star. Okay, it says, hello. I'm sorry for the issues. We will send you the reflector from China he better send two it will take around two weeks to arrive is that okay with you yes that's fine but it says also we're willing to refund you 40 USD United States dollars so you can keep the tent please don't leave us negative feedback no I want more money off than 40 freaking dollars or I will leave a negative I'm, I'm doing it right now and that's still that's still not right he they have to know about it and and we we got to watch him real close on that video and then we thought we found another video it was from four months ago i was like oh look at this guy and we got to looking and sure enough it was the same damn way once we paused and looked at it real close it's the same way and i was like well this is a different guy but it was this guy's channel so yeah he's promoting it but he's working for the dude He's working for him. It's not his channel. It's that guy's channel that did the video. All right, let, <laughs> hang on, guys. I, I'm, I'm going to tell him I, I want a hundred bucks back, and let's see what he says. Okay, guys, update. So he contacted me again. Monkey said, "Say sixty, sixty dollars." I said, "All right, that's fine." So I told him, you know, because he he said yes. I, I'll, you know, I'll send you the reflectors. You know, you guys saw that. I said, I'm, I'm fine with that. Make sure you send two. <clears throat> and I said, but I think the refund should be $60. He contacted me immediately and said, that was fine. He will refund me $60 and send the two reflectors. So, but what I'm going to have to do, guys, I'm just going to, I'm going to have to fabricate this. You know what I mean? Now, we saw a guy that did this a little different so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it the way he did it and um, we'll see if that back goes any better maybe it needs to stretch some I don't know but I'm going to set you up well I'm going to try it if it works you know I'll show you what I did if it don't work I'll tell you it didn't work I still gotta I still gotta fight with it whatever but monkey thinks I should bring it in the house and sleep in it because I really wanted to do this you know the actual review out camping but I, th I agree with her I think I should try it out and sleep in it make sure it's going to be all right 
and she said that way you're in the air conditioner so i want to do that but first i'm going to try to do the way this this other guy did it so hang tight guys and i'll let you know how that turned out okay i gotta try to hurry because it is getting dark <coughs> what the other guy did he left this one down okay so this is what he did and i just did it all right hold this front one out this one here first then lay that down there we go now we're good to go they should have said that so that's what he did and that's what I can do but as far as it still being down five inches the front and the rear you know I'm uh I'm gonna have to do some magic on it which I will and I'll get it fixed one of these days but tonight I'm gonna sleep in it and uh, make sure it's gonna be all right then to fold it up I'm gonna flip this one up push down here and lift the back up there we go would that be too much to ask to put in a video all right and like I said he is gonna send me reflectors they mount up here it does kind of look like it's, it's, it does kind of look a little bent there Jeez. I should ask for the hundred. But yeah. See right here and right here. Alright, well, not a big deal, I guess. As long as it still pulls alright. I may do some tweaking and bending and stuff like that. But anyway guys, so that was that so i'm going to take it in the house and get it set up i'm going to sleep in that tonight it's not going to be camp out i'm not going to film it or anything like that but yeah so all right mike got a bent maybe got a little tweaked when we was trying to but you know i mean when you watch a video and there's a cut there um what do you do and the only instructions you get is that thing and i showed you they don't work you got to go in and look for it but so anyway we got a deal i'm getting 60 bucks back but still you know just so i don't have to box that back up load it in the truck take it to the ups store unload it you know use our gas I'd be doing that for free because you know he's not gonna pay me for that so but yeah until he does some and I did find those clips you saw that I found them because I wanted to get them before because I'm probably the only one that mentioned that so he'll probably edit those or something but so anyway thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next one Shea Bear the myth the man ledge I'm gone for now Whew. it's hot out here and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Bye-bye.